The Me Too movement has helped put sexual assault and harassment at the forefront of conversations across the nation. And Trujillo sat down with a former Kent High School student who's telling college students we need to talk. Ellery Jones is Miss Colorado 2018 and the woman behind the We Need to Talk workshops that will be on college campuses next spring. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is this is actually a topic that's that's personal to you, right? It is, yeah. So I actually was assaulted my sophomore year of college. Um, I graduated from Harvard this spring and it was something that in a lot of ways, I felt like threatened to derail my entire college experience, mm. and it was a friend of mine who did it, and I had the opportunity, actually, at the very end of my sophomore year to sit down with him and to confront him about wow. what happened. Yeah, it was, an, it was a really intense experience, um, but as I've gone through my healing process, a lot of what that has meant has been not only processing my experience of it, but what he shared with me about his experience mm. of what happened, um, and that's a lot of what fueled the foundation of this workshop, where it's involving the entire community not just survivors and not just perpetrators, but everyone having a conversation to make the entire community better. Well, and just talking about it, right, is, is a great step for everyone, right? Absolutely. And and again, that kind of, kind of stemmed from my personal experience, too. Yeah. It took me a really long time to disclose. Um, it was probably six months before I told anyone. And those six months were really hard. And I, I suffered bet. a lot. And, and once I started to speak about it, that's when I started to be able to find healing. And a lot of um, the reason that these violences are perpetrated is because of social and cultural standards that exist. And so when we have those conversations, we can start to break those down. So how will your workshop work. Absolutely. So my plan is to partner with the Title IX offices on college campuses okay. since this is very much part of their mission and right. the work that they're already doing. And then um, students will volunteer to come and they'll be part of it. The conversations will unpack a lot of our beliefs about ourselves, about relationships, how we act those out, and how that can be beneficial and harmful to ourselves and others. And then at the end of it, we're going to have students who will not only pledge to um, to a certain number of actionable items to change the culture on their campus, but also to continue to have these conversations so that it's not a one-off thing. Um, because as you know, culture takes time to change. Sure. And so I would want to have student ambassadors on this campus who will continue that Great. work. Because you mentioned Title IX, a lot yeah. of schools are at risk of losing funding if they don't initiate some kind of program. Absolutely. Are you seeing change yet on any campuses? I know there there's a lot of talk, but is there change happening I think yet? change is a little bit difficult to quantify. Um, I think the conversations are happening. I think students, um, especially younger generations, want to make a difference and they want to do this work to, to see things change. Um, so I think the potential is really mm -hmm. there. And um, the more programs we have, the better. And there's a lot of talk about protecting the accused. Is right. that part of your conversation as well with your workshops? I think my workshops really want to target the students themselves because those are the people that really dictate what culture is like on college campuses. And what I think is really special and unique about college campuses is that each culture is really different mm -hmm. and really specific to that school. And so the workshops aren't necessarily for the institution and the administration at a whole, but they're mm -hmm. really for students mm -hmm. to be able to take some control into their Got audience. It. So what is the message then that you want them to hear from these workshops? The message really is to take a second, to pause, to understand your actions and the beliefs that you have that drive your actions to both prevent, um, whether it's you or someone you know, acting in a violent way towards somebody else that is just another student at your school. So for people out there who are sending their their students off to school or students looking at colleges and universities, what should they be looking for in that school before they say that's the school I want to go to? Absolutely ask about resources. Ask what the Title IX office is doing to provide resources for survivors. Ask students about the culture when you go to parties. Mm -hmm. What's the standard? What's the expectation? Um, I think students are pretty candid about that and you know when there's an issue it's pretty prevalent and people either stay away from that. There's always there's usually nicknames about different areas on mm. campus. Um, so people know and people are talking about it but it's just not on a very public stage. But parents don't necessarily and know. And parents don't necessarily so know. So should that be part of their conversation too when their student is looking around to, to choose? Absolutely and I think institutions have a responsibility to be transparent about that. The statistics are there. Um, most schools, the Title IX office, part of their job is to keep track of when reports, you know, as much as it is reported when that's happening. And so I think students and parents should have that conversation with institutions as they're getting there. Yeah, those reports, are those pretty public now? I mean, is it, can you easily find those when you're, when you're searching around college campuses? I don't know if easily is the yeah. right word, um, but there's definitely a push to have that information out there so that people can make, not only make an informed decision, but so that situation can be improved.
All right, so you graduated Harvard. I Congratulations. Did. Thank you so Became much. Became Miss Colorado. This is all <laughs> happening at it's once. It's been a busy summer. Oh yeah. my gosh. And now you're preparing to, let's see, for your PhD in neuroscience. Is I that am. right? Yes. So I will be moving to San Francisco next September um, to do something a little bit different than this and, and get back into the lab and doing research. And doing these uh, sessions for, for people Absolutely. on college campuses. Well, congratulations on your success. We Thank wish you, you well so much, and very Anne. nice having mm -hmm. you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be following her career. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics Unplugged.